What up? Matt, Xander, and Vini. Um, and my other closer friends that I kind of told you about this uh, game board idea. The uh, Eggbed. The electronic gaming board diorama. Uh, I've been working on. Uh, so, JLD. Uh, and uh, other friendly YouTubers that are watching this video. Um, so this is what I've been working on in terms of the game console, like the, uh, well not the console, but the, uh, the actual gaming side of it, you know? Um, I was telling you like how when the gamer's gonna be playing, they're gonna be coming across the, uh, the combination feature in which, um, there's gonna be a board with a bunch of games, um, scattered throughout the board. Uh, individual individual games that is that kind of link up together and uh, one of the things that they'll have to do is just they're gonna be getting like a card like a you know like a playing card with a bunch of combinations on it so for instance and this is not really a spoiler because um, you'll have no idea which game th what part of the game this is gonna be connected to so I'll uh, show you the combination because just there's just no way you're gonna uh, ever know it but um so they'll get a card a game card that's gonna have like a listing of like maybe anywhere from five to seven variables of the combination but one of the combinations is actually gonna be the right combination on the card but it is up to the gamer to actually like select which one it is going to be it could be the first one it could be the last one it could be with one in the middle um, but the point of them uh, getting the card is when it lands on the turn and they get they get a chance to do an action they actually get to select a card that's specifically geared to this part of the game that's going to have those seven listings of combinations and the whole point of the game is for them for all the players to collect all the cards I, uh, right now I think I'm, I'm gonna have like eight possible combination uh, variables on the game where each contestant has to solve like pretty much all of them but they're actually working together to solve all the uh, the combinations but anyway so say for instance you get the card for this combination you'll and your guess is the first variable um, and say it's wrong uh, and they try to type in the code I'll just do an example and do the actual wrong code it's gonna actually light up and give you and indicate that it's the wrong code so they're gonna have to move on um, to the next person until it comes back around to their turn so that they can possibly try the second one. Now they have to make a mental note of which ones that they used and uh, that were not uh, that were not right. Um, so they're not, they're not able to write it down just because that's the rules. They just have to remember which one they used and didn't work. So say it was the second one and it does work, they'll actually like put in the code, which I do know the code since and it's gonna be actually the right code and if you heard that little click and you actually see here that a relay turned on it's gonna actually hook up to a bunch of it's gonna hook up to like eight more relays like this so if you imagine there's gonna be like eight games or um, uh, it's five let's just pretend five games since I um, have five fingers that I can show you well they just they just saw the the relay here well that relay is going to connect to the next game and if they solve that it's going to leak up to that one the third one fourth one and fifth one so when they all link up together it's going to actually connect to the final conclusion of the game which is going to be like uh the climax of the game and it's going to be like very showy it's going to be have like um lights and sound and you know can a uh, can uh, congratulatory climax of the game so the so basically a lot of these uh a lot of these pieces on the board will actually uh, be where each contestant can solve it and they don't really have to go in order they just have to solve them so they could solve like maybe one here and then maybe four later but those are going to actually link up together and it still won't work until these three are solved so when all of them are solved that's when um, the whole entire climax of the game is going to uh, just work and um but anyway i wanted to show this to you because i i thought i was i was pretty excited to show it 
Uh, this is a very skeleton version of it, but when it actually goes into the casing, it's gonna be like, it's gonna look pretty cool. But anyway, that's um, kind of, uh, this, and it's not just gonna be a combination thing, it's gonna be like a, a consortium of actual like different styles of, of uh, games or puzzles that they'll have to solve um, throughout the whole entire game. So anyway, uh, that's that part of it and I hope you enjoyed watching it. But and I can't wait to show everybody once this whole entire game is actually completed and ready to go out go out there and be played. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching.